blisters, ugh. Here's what we suggest to use to treat them and keep on walking. Do everything you can to prevent blisters, but if you do get a blister while you're over walking in Spain, or even if, if you're at home on your training walks, um, trying out your new shoes or whatever, do everything you can to prevent the blisters. Use your trail toes or Vaseline or petroleum jelly of whatever kind inside on your directly on your skin. Put your nice, good fitting microfiber or wool socks on top of that and make sure your shoes are fitting well and laced properly. All of that is how to prevent blisters. But if you do get a blister, here's what we suggest using. And I happened to have a one day, just a couple of days ago, where I ended up having to get out our blister treatment. So follow along and watch what I did to uh, be able to walk that day. Hi, it's Helen with Camino Provisions. And I wanted to share with you this morning uh, a little demonstration of one of our favorite blister treatments. And it's by Spenco Second Skin. And uh, I have somehow picked up a few ant bites on one of my toes. And so before we go out for our morning exercise training walk for our Cam upcoming Camino, I need to uh, put something on my toe so that it won't get more irritated on our walk. So here's what I'm gonna use. This blister treatment is just the greatest that we have found. I know a lot of people use Compede when they're in Spain and get blisters. We found out about this in 2007 when we were getting ready for our first walk and we took some with us from the United States so I don't know if it's available throughout the world. You see right here, there's a cluster of these little ant bites that I got wearing sandals next door in the park where we had some ant beds. We were walking our dog. I didn't even know they happened. But this morning when I was uh, getting ready to get my shoes on for our training walk, I discovered the little cluster. The little squares in the jar, I don't know, there's several hundred of them like that, and they have two parts that you peel off to reveal the little gel square itself, and then you put that over the blister, or in my case, my ant bites, is, is trim some of this off, because I don't need, need it to be so wide. And then, you just Cover that gel square with the adhesive. And not only does it help it heal, but it completely cushions it so that it doesn't become more irritated. So that's it. Pretty quick and easy. And now we're off to do our training walk for this morning before it gets too much hotter outside. Okay, we've gone about <clears throat> three and a half miles and my blister fix, or in this case, my ant bite fix, still hanging in there looking good and very comfortable to walk. This is what the blister kit looks like that I've described. And it has some of everything in the box. Some of the moist pads or gel squares, they're called both both of those things, and the adhesive uh, squares that you cut to fit to go over the gel pad. It even has some little white soft cushion pillows of different sizes 
to help if you have a hot spot to put that inside your shoe, actually connecting it and uh, sticking it to the shoe. And so that's all in one kit. And you can, I'll, I'll put the link to that below in the description box. I've gotten them from Amazon in the past. The other way to buy this product is in the big jar size and then buy whatever kind of adhesive you're going to use to cover the gel square. Uh, and you can use either, get a box of the adhesive squares just like that come in the blister kit, or you can just use some adhesive, medical adhesive tape. But of course, all of these methods, you do need to have some scissors so that you can cut them to fit. But if you wanna get just a blister kit, which has limited amounts of things, of, of those items in it, um, that's one way to get it. I think it's under $10. And then if, if you're gonna be gone longer and wanna take more of this with you, the more economical way is to use the jar and you might be able to share that with some friends or something. I hope you never get a blister. I haven't had one since 2007 on our first walk when I actually got a blister on my collarbone was the first blister I got from my, my pack that was way he too heavy for me to be carrying. But if you do get a blister, Here's how to treat it and keep on walking. We hope you've enjoyed this review. Buen Camino.